So, beliefs and beliefs, various types of beliefs all over the world. <laughs> I'm sure many of you have traveled around the world and you know how many sorts of beliefs are there. The important thing is just to know that if we work hard enough on you from your childhood, we can make you believe just about any damn thing in the universe. Hello? We need to rub you nicely from your childhood. That's the important thing. If we leave you free till you are eight, ten, then you are trouble. We must rub you down right from the beginning so that you will simply believe what your parents believed, their parents believed, their parents believed forever, okay? Because it gives you… it's a club. You can call it by many names, but it's actually a club. You all believe one thing, you're one club. They all believe something, they're another club. But at least the clubs don't wage wars. <laughs> uh, maybe they'll have little social, uh, you know, social media tiffs. But uh, these hardcore beliefs will lead to enormous amount of confrontations and conflicts in the world. Leaving that aside, about karma, karma is not a concept that you or me can make up. Because you need to understand, this comes from a cultural dimension and a spiritual dimension where there is no belief system as such. Well, here and there people try to create some beliefs in small pockets, but overall there is no belief system. That's why Indians are eternally confused, because there is no one belief system. About everything there is an argument, all right? If there are five people, they have ten opinions. <laughs> yes. So, this is because a culture that was steeped in spirituality, today only largely retains only remnants of it, the jargon of it, not the… you know, the fruit of it is not there, just the jargon is there. Uh, not that it is not at all there, it is there, but not like how it used to be where nearly at least eighty to ninety percent of the people were in some kind of spiritual practice just a few centuries ago, that is not there anymore. Because of that, lot of interpretations and misinterpretations happen. About retribution, the fundamental psychology of in retribution comes from the simplistic idea of if you are a good guy, you are going to heaven, if you are a bad guy, you are going to hell. How many are going to heaven here, I want to know? <laughs> Hello? You going? Good. But you must first check out what's there, you know. <laughs> There's no Wi-Fi, just telling you <laughs> So, in the previous generation, if you asked how many of you want to go to heaven, ninety percent would have raised their hand. All of you. Just one person raised, maybe there are a few more, maybe ten percent will raise their hands in this generation. In the next generation, ask them how many of their… how them want their life to be managed by heaven? Nobody, almost nobody, not even one or two percent. So essentially, in just a matter of three, four generations, heaven is collapsing. But why is it collapsing? What is happening? Why should we go to heaven or not go to heaven? Heaven or hell, both I'm saying, I don't want to say both of them every time, so I'm just saying heaven, both. Either you fall here or there, it's… there's just a wall between the two, if you're a good guy, you fall this way, if you're a bad guy, you fall that way. I don't know where the girls go, nobody spoke about it <laughs> Always the talk is about good guys fall this way, bad guys fall that way. Where do the girls go? Nowhere has it been spoken, because uh, it's like this. Uh, what is in heaven? In the Hindu heaven, food is very good. <laughs> if you're a foodie, you must go to Hindu heaven. <laughs> if you go to another heaven, there are white-gowned ladies floating around in the sky, in the clouds. You like that kind of ambience, you can go there. If you go to another kind of heaven, you will be confronted with virgin problems. 
But what does it take to go there? This happened in Alabama. Anybody from Alabama? Because before I crack a joke, I'm just making sure that <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> because except in their shower, everywhere, everywhere else they pack a gun out there. <laughs> So, this is a Sunday school. The Sunday school teacher is going full fire. The audience are not like you, all tiny tots. Catch them, young policy. So, he's going full fire. In his rhetoric, he stopped and said, What do you have to do to go to heaven? Little Mary in the first row said, if I scrub the church floor every Sunday morning, I will go to heaven. Absolutely, it's a needed chore, you know. Another little girl stood up and said, if I share fifty percent of my pocket money with my less privileged friend, I will go to heaven. Correct. Little Tommy in the back bench stood up and said, you got to die first. <laughs> that is a qualification, hello? <laughs> 